Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with another video on the channel and today I am making a video that is going to show off at least the steps for the current meta of tire tuning on Auto Legends. So when it comes to your stance and your tire setup and all that, I'm going to show it off at least with what I'm best at, which is front wheel drive. And this way, this is how people are running their fastest ETs. So for example, with like a Civic Type R, this is how people are going nearly 9.1s. I don't know the setup for the Type R, but I do know the setup for other cars like the Civic DX and things like that. So I'm going to build, you know, we're going to just pick a random car though. I really like the Integra GSR, so we're going to use the Integra GSR. Like I said, I'm best at this with front wheel drive cars, but, or I'm best in front wheel drive cars, I should say, but this does work on every car. Now, this basically just involves how you set up your tires, and at least from talking to the development team, this sounds like it is slightly intended, but there is some stuff that's going to change in the future to make it so this isn't intended. So at the moment, you're okay to do this and you won't like get in trouble or anything. So I got my Integra Type R here. We're going to go over to Speed Lab and I'm going to build this thing to max horsepower. I'm going to pause because this video is only about tires. I'll make an Integra GSR video at another time. So I'm almost done with my setup. Now the, the thing you will notice I skipped is tires. I skipped tires. Now why did I do that? Because tires are very important during a setup, obviously. And if you want to do this thing where you get the most grip possible out of your tires, you need to install these drag tires first. So we're going to install those. We're going to check out. We're going to buy the whole cart here and uh, basically have this car set up to max HP. So I think that's max. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check. But right now, all that's important is tuning your tires. So we're going to go tuning. We're going to go stance. And then the thing that you want to do is just make sure it's like 15. Then these numbers, you want to max them out. 7.5, 20, 55. And then the same in the rear. 6.5 7 to 7.5, 20, 55. You just want these numbers, these three, 7.5, 20, and 55, to be at their max value. Everything else kind of doesn't matter. You're going to go back, and now you want to do a different set of tires. You want to do the radial slick. The radial slick is the most grippy tire in the game. So you do this, you install it. There you go. And now at least, like I said, whoa, that changed my horsepower. I'm going to bug that. Anyway, um, <laughs> now, as you can see, you know, I got these giant tires on here. But that's not really the meta with front wheel drive racing. So the meta with front wheel drive racing, I already have the gripped that everybody's considering glitched grip, but it's not actually a glitch according to the developers. It's something that's unintentionally intended. So it'll be fixed at a later date. But basically what we're gonna do now is this pertains to specifically front wheel drive. Basically wanna just slam it, wheel as small as possible, width as small as possible, Stretch as small as possible and sidewall as small as possible. Do the same thing to the back. Super simple. And there we go. So now that's at least the meta for front wheel drive. I have said it seven times in this video so far. I'm going to say it again. This is not going to be the meta forever. We are fixing this. Don't worry about it. But now you just need to edit your gear ratios. I'm just going to do a quick tune here of like. 69 is a funny number, so we're going to put it to that, and I'm going to leave everything else the same, and now we're going to just go do a test drive real quick. So we're going to go hit the track, and this should be the fastest tire setup for front wheel drive, basically. You can do this with rear wheel drive. You do the Hoosiers first, the tire sizing, then the radial slick, and then the tire sizing. Um, I think on rear wheel drive, you want everything to be as big as possible. And then all wheel drive is somewhere in the middle. I've never actually messed with front wheel drive enough to know. Seems like this car definitely should use a way higher final drive. Wow. But there we go. As you can see, that is the quickest way or quickest tune for the tire. Now, potential tip if you are playing 0.7.3 and we haven't fixed the back button yet. 
As you can see, I don't have a back button in the top right, so I'm just going to change the color slightly. That brings back my back button. That's all, you know, that's just a little side thing. So we're going to do some gearing here. I'm going to go back up to like three. Things doing like 10 three, so I should 90. But this is basically the fastest tire setup for this car, which is pretty cool. So we'll give this one more run just to show you guys how fast it is. And like I said, this we'll fix this. Obviously, you know, these comedically small wheels with basically no tire patch touching the road being like borderline no tire sidewall and anything and stuff like that. We'll be fixing stuff like this. So don't worry. This isn't going to be the meta forever. This isn't like final say with the tires. It's like I say all the time. We are in alpha stages of this game. Everything is going to change pretty much from now to release uh, beta for those that are wondering probably sometime in November. Uh, that's also when the mobile build should come out to the public. I'm saying should because I don't know 100% just like you don't. But that's what's been told you know, to the public for a while is front wheel drive, or not front wheel drive. Oh my God. I wish I had one of these in real life. Um, the, <laughs> the beta will have access on mobile as well. And if you are interested in becoming part of the testing team for this game and giving feedback and doing actual surveys that go directly to the developers with your feedback, I'm going to leave a Google sheet form or a Google form in the description as well as the top comment. If you are a casual gamer, if you are, you know, a more advanced gamer, if you played other drag racing games, but not so much Nitto 1320 or Racing Rivals, if you played CSR instead and stuff like that. We want people like that to come give us feedback on the game because we can take feedback all day, every day from anybody Nitto 1320 or Racing Rivals. We need it from casual gamers. We need it from people that are car hobbyists that aren't quite, you know, direct hands on with tools in their engine bay. We need some good feedback. So if you could do us a solid, fill out the Google form, uh, we may pick you to be part of the testing team. The only major two things with it is you need to be active when testing. You need to give proper feedback when we put up the surveys or you will be kicked out of it. And you need to be a part of the Discord just because that's the easiest way for us to give the surveys to everybody and give you builds and just track who is a part of it and who isn't. So realistically, if you want to help out, that's the best way you can help out. And we will be picking people for that group sometime soon. Not sure 100% when, but we will be picking people soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Peace out. I'll do a setup tutorial for the Integra GSR once I'm done fiddling with it. I want to see if I can get a little more balance out of it, maybe get it into the 9.8s. Talk to you later.